Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Wahyu or you can simply call me Sam. First of all, Happy New Year 2021. Hopefully everything will get better this year. I'm sure most of you have thought about creating your own designs, but some of you may also have difficulty to convert the idea to become a 3D model or 3D file. So in this video series, we will discuss about the basic design for 3D printing using DesignSpark Mechanical. There are four things that I really like about Design Spark Mechanical. First, it's free. Yes, so it's free for uh, professional use, personal use, educational use, so any way you need it. And uh, because of that, you don't have to worry about licensing, especially if you are just starting out with 3D design or maybe you just start out your small business. So anyway, if you need more features like export to step file, you can also buy an additional add-on package. Second, it is easy to learn. Back in 2017, I have no background in computer edit design or CAD. And I'm looking for free software that's easy to learn. And I compare some of them. This one, Design Spark Mechanical, turns out the most easy to learn. And then the third one is Design Spark Mechanical have so many features. You can use it for basic design and also for complex designs. We will see them in the next uh, part of this video for the basic ones first, okay? Reason number four is that you can use this software offline. Meaning that you can bring your computer everywhere or maybe a notebook everywhere. You don't need to have a high-speed connection to edit your files, save your files and so on. You just need to be connected to the internet once every 30 days to activate the uh, account token that's all one of the downside of this software is that until now it's only available for windows so if you are using uh, linux or using mac you cannot use this software maybe you can use some uh, emulation software but i'm not sure about the performance okay Okay, enough with the chit chat. We will start by designing simple things. So I have here with me, uh, this is a mini planter or pot. You can use it for maybe cactus or small plants, or maybe you can design something a bit taller for uh, maybe pens and so on. So we will start by designing things like this. But before that, you will need to download the software and then install it and make an account first. I'm assuming that you already have the Design Spark Mechanical software in your computer up and running. So now we will start with the file new design. Okay, this is the sketch view, meaning that uh, you will have this plane to draw some shapes. Okay, I will uh, hide my uh, camera here. Wait a moment. Now we will start with uh, go to the left upper side. There are several shapes you can select. Now we select the this one, circle. Or you can press C on your keyboard. So circle and then goes here. You can click anywhere but let's start with the uh, this position at the center of the coordinate. Click and then pull. So we want to make the planter diameter um let's say 50 millimeters so just press 5 and 0 and press enter okay so now we have a circle with 50 millimeters diameter now to make this uh shape become a 3d dimensional shape or a solid object we first we need to move to the 3d view so you can select this one at the uh, this is the sketch mode and then selection mode and this one is the 3d mode click this one okay now we have this surface right you can click on the surface and then pull if uh, you need to make sure that this uh, pull icon is active if not then you need to click this one so this one is already active so you can click at the surface and pull up uh, let's say 50 millimeters so press 5 0 and then press enter okay so now we have a cylinder with 50 millimeters diameter and 50 millimeters tall um, this view is uh, a bit too high 
So we go to the left side. There's a home button or icon. Click this one. Okay. So now we have a more uh, proportional shape on the screen, right? The next one, uh, we need to make this uh, solid object to have hold or space inside. Okay. So there are several methods. This is going to be the fastest method. We will need to first we need to click this one the select button or you can also press escape button to uh, to deselect the pull function if not then you might end up with pulling things everywhere <laughs> okay now um, we need to select this top uh, surface and then click this one you can found the icon named shell click the shell icon and then uh, you'll see that here it require an input or you can input one millimeters two millimeters it will be the thickness of the shell uh, for this one let's put three millimeters and then press enter okay so now again uh, right now the shell icon is active if we want to move anywhere it's better to press escape or you can also press this one select okay and then uh, let's see how it uh, looks like now you can uh, click here at the left side home and then this one is spin pen this is for the view you can click the spin and then uh, spin the view or you can click pen and then move it side to side up down or maybe you can use uh, the mouse maybe different mouse will have different setup but uh, mostly to spin okay you can use the uh, middle button or uh, if your mouse have a scroll wheel you can press the scroll wheel and then move the uh, the mouse it will spin and then if you want to pen you can also press the shift button on your keyboard and the uh, middle or the wheel of your mouse and then like this it will move panning okay so now I'll push or I'll press the home button okay now let's see the cross-sectional view here we have the sketch mode and then this is the section mode and then this is the 3d mode now let's click the section mode okay okay you see that uh, this is a tube with uh, this is the uh, the wall Okay, the thickness of the wall is three millimeters on each side so now I want to add okay I just click this one the 3d mode and then I'll click home I want to add a hole at the bottom so because uh, if it is a planter maybe it will need a hole for the water to come out so I'll just click at this one the uh, the roof or the upper side of the base okay and then I will click you can click the sketch mode first or you can directly click this one the circle uh, button whichever if you uh, okay let's do step by step click this one the sketch mode let's click the circle we make circle here maybe the diameter will be uh, eight millimeters okay okay now again we click the 3d view yes so now we have a uh, uh, this circular shape at the bottom now we will pull this uh, circle if you pull up it will make some solid object here okay control Z now if we pull down it will make a hole here so now we have a face or a planter or a pot with a three millimeters wall thickness and this hole at the bottom easy isn't it okay now we will make another planter which will have a slightly different uh, shape and method we will start again file new design okay okay we are back to the sketch mode so if you want to return to the first design here at the bottom left uh, there are some tabs design design okay you can name it and also save it later Okay, this is uh, going to be the next one. We will make the shape of 
rectangle so we click this one at the top left uh, clipboard orient and then sketch on the sketch menu this is the rectangle or you can press or you can press R click this one and then uh, at the plane of the sketch mode you just draw a rectangle okay and then type in 50 millimeters and then press tab on your keyboard and then type again 50 millimeters okay and then press enter now you have a rectangle with 50 millimeters on each side okay now again we click this one the mode uh, 3d view okay again for this surface we will pull up by 50 millimeters okay we click home so it's easier uh, on the screen press select or just press escape now we will cut the inner side of the block manually to do that click on the top surface and then click this one the sketch mode okay now we will need to rotate the view to get easier uh, access you can press this one at the bottom almost left here is the viewing cube click this one okay I will pen a little yes okay if I want to cut the inner side with rectangle shape I need to select this uh, rectangle again but now let's start with something different so we will click circle and then click here move uh, maybe 44 millimeters in diameter so we have three millimeters uh, thickness at the minimum okay and then press enter okay now we are again we click the 3d mode okay now we spin the view yes now you can see that the block has a circle at the top of it we can click and then we can pull to cut the solid object but now we have to input uh, how how deep it will cut so if the block is uh, 50 millimeters in uh, height now we will input 47 as the uh, cutting distance now click again on select or press escape there you go we already have a new planter or pot so we will make the corners uh, more round so click on one of it and then click pull there are some menu here on the left bottom round chamfer so we uh, make sure it is round and then click here and drag and then input the number you want for the uh, radius I want maybe 10 millimeters radius okay and then to do that again click on the other corner type in 10 okay here also type in 10 okay also here type in 10 yes press home again okay let's uh, check okay now press again escape button or this select uh, icon okay now we will make a hole at the bottom so again we click here and then click this one the circle menu or circle icon click here and drag eight millimeters maybe okay and then 3d view mode again and then here we pull down and now we have a hole at the bottom so uh, let's add another feature so at this uh, this corner of the circle we will add some chamfer okay click pull oh, sorry sorry you have to click this uh, circle first and then click pull and then at the bottom select for the chamfer okay and then here you drag and then input the number you want so I want the chamfer by five millimeters okay and then click select or just press escape done now I want to add more feature to the top uh, side 
okay i want to make this outer uh, line more round so let's double click on this one and then click pull and then we make sure it is a round not the chamfer okay and then we just pull here maybe one millimeter okay done click select okay so now we already have two design that you can try at home you can also adjust the dimension as you need maybe you want it taller or shorter or maybe wider and so on that's all for now we will continue again in the next video if you have any suggestion or question just put in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you again in the next video bye